Hi everyone, I'm one of the artists included in the National Miniature Textile Biennial Exhibition Petite at Wangaratta Art Gallery, Victoria. My name's Jennifer Robertson and I'm a textile artist and weaver. I have a studio based in Canberra and lecture at the Australian National University. I'm originally from Somerset, England. I want to speak to you today about the work in the exhibition titled Christmas Tree Worm and firstly share a little about the history of miniature textile exhibitions. There's a tradition in textiles of working within a miniature format which began back in the 1970s in England by Anne Sutton MBE, a master weaver. Some of the ideas with a small scale exhibition are that it encourages cultural exchange and dialogue between different countries and a diverse spectrum of artists, can travel easily without a great risk of damage to work in transit, is compact and requires a small exhibition space that's flexible for display at a variety of venues. Recurring themed miniature textile exhibitions are commonly held in Ukraine, Japan, Australia, Poland, England and Italy. As a textile artist, I really enjoy working on a small scale. It provides a central focus on an idea, a process and an outcome with a sense of detail and intricacy in working with your hands. My piece in the exhibition Christmas Tree Worm is inspired by natural environment, in particular the sensorial mix of structure, surface and form. I chose to work with a composite materiality using glass, fine cotton and linen threads woven on my digital hand loom. The choice of materials comes from current research into weaving large scale mineral composite fibre artworks, informed and inspired by meaningful connections with earth science. White, often associated with goodness, purity and simplicity, reflects light and is evocative of illusory traces and bleaching. Recently, I had the privileged experience of a snorkelling residency on an island in Fiji and encountered this species of worm, Sporobranchus gigantus, growing and living on coral banks underwater. The act of snorkelling opens up a magical underwater world and the forms growing in pairs on stony coral was softly swaying in the current, their plume fringes responsive, energetic and textile-like. The detail was stunning and at close range they disappeared from sight at a certain distance. If threatened, the worms quickly withdraw into their tapered, segmented hollow tube behind a spiny trap door, camouflaged and flush with the surface of coral. The tube is made from excreted calcium carbonate. For protection, it's much longer than the plumes seen on the surface. I found myself looking for them, being certain I had just seen them, until I realised their habit, an extraordinary mechanism. The pre presence or absence of the worms can indicate the health of coral reef. As we're aware, coral reef is in great danger of disappearing. Currently over half the reef is affected by damage and it's vitally important that we can effectively address long-term impacts of warming waters, pollution and ocean acidification to preserve coral reef, ocean habitat and steward it well for future generations. With this work, I wanted to explore and raise awareness of the importance of natural beauty in everyday life, celebrating the delicate fragility and intricate structural and surface materiality of these unusual forms through the careful craft of weaving. I hope you enjoy the exhibition and thanks for listening.